Now let us learn about lenses. You might have seen lenses everywhere in your house. Maybe magnifying glasses. Even your spectacles are lenses. Do you know we all have two lenses with us naturally. Those are our eyes. Our eyes also have got lenses. What is the difference between lens and mirror? The light cannot pass through mirror but the light passes through lens. Now basically we are going to study two types of lenses. One is the concave and one is the convex. The convex lens means you have bulge at both the at the center and it is narrow at the end. This is convex lens. Okay. What is the peculiarity of this lens? This lens is converging lens means whenever the incident ray fall on this it converges. Okay. It accumulate the light light rays okay so this is also called as converging lens this is also called as converging lens now there is one more type of lens which is concave lens concave lens is something like this This is concave lens which is narrow at the center and bulge at the end. Now the peculiar thing of this lens is it diverges the rays. It diverges the rays. Okay. Whenever the light rays incidence on this lens, the li light rays passes through the lens and it diverges. So this is also called as diverging lens. Now we will see some nomenclature in case of lenses. You must have seen that if you cut this lens here, this is the one part of sphere, this is another part of sphere. Right? That means any lens is made up of two parts of the spheres. So definitely we will be having two foci, we will be having uh, two center of curvatures, right? Let us see example of one convex lens. Now this lens is made up of two parts of sphere, spherical ball, glass ball. When you cut and join two parts, it will look something like this. So first we have C which is center of curvature. Then just like our mirrors we have one principal axis. Now at this point the principal axis and center of the lens meet. This is called as optical center denoted by letter O. The peculiar point of this optical center is whenever any incidence ray fall on the lens at the optical center and it passes through the lens it will not converge or diverge. It will go in a straight line. So whenever the rays passes through the any lens through this optical center it will not divert at all okay it will go in a straight line now the principal focus suppose this is f f is principal focus okay so whenever the incident rays are there they will pass through the principal focus. Now since this lens is made up of two parts we have two foci. At last we have F focal distance. This is nothing but the distance between the focus and origin. Now in the lens also 
similar to whatever we have done with the mirrors, we have to draw objects and images at different points. Before that, I will just tell you one thing. Whenever the incident ray falls on the mirror, it bounces back. Maybe deviated, but it bounces back. That is called as the reflection. Okay, the rays are reflected. But whenever the rays incidents on some lens, what happens? They are not bounced back. Okay, they pass through the lens, maybe deviated, or if it is passing through optical center, goes in straight line. But suppose the ray falls here, it will be converged, or in case of concave lens, it will be diverged. So these kind of phenomena is known as refraction okay so i will say that the refracted image i will not call as the reflected image it will be refracted the light rays will be refracted and not reflected in case of mirrors they are reflected in case of lenses they are refracted because they are passing through it now suppose we have to make some experiments in lab what we will do we have to put one lens in between then one screen okay both should be movable okay so you have to mark one principal axis there we will place the lens somewhere here okay we will place the screen over here okay and the object will be here and what we will do as an object we will take one burning candle so the light rays will pass through it and we can move the lens and move the screen in such a way that we will get the very sharp image here very sharp refracted image and then we can physically measure the distance or we can do this experiment on physically marked or the scale table rulers and we can measure the distances between object screen and optical center of the lens so in this case also we have to find out the six positions of an object let us see what those six positions are and how to draw okay let's do it